So what I'm going to show you today is called Screencast-O-Matic, which you can see right here. Um, and I really like to use it for student videos, for, excuse me, videos I make for my students because it allows you to do a lot of things in editing that other screen recording uh, programs, at least as far as I've seen them, don't allow. So um, it's super helpful, especially if you want to make things like what I just showed you, that kind of graphic up there that makes it more intriguing. Um, number two, if you want to um, edit and put in different videos. So for instance, if you have videos of like, you know, a lesson you're giving, if it's a lab or for me and when I teach photography, I want to show them how to use a camera. I can insert those videos or those still pictures right up into the actual recording. So at the risk of being too disorienting, I'm just jumping right into this video to show you how you can add a video into a currently existing video. And that way, if you need to change anything, fix anything, add anything, you can do it all in that editing software. Um, and then it's also pretty cheap. It's not expensive to get to access. Um, I, the premium version costs $1.65 a month, or you can get it for three years or something, which is what I did for like 30 bucks. And $10 a year for a really good software is super cheap and worth doing. The last thing I'd say is what's really nice about this, as far as I've seen, is um, it makes it really easy to upload your videos to YouTube. So very quickly, I can record a video, edit it, and then put it up on YouTube for my students to have. And they don't have to go to any other software to access it. They can just go to YouTube, get the content, and then move forward from there. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you quickly some of those editing skills to show you how I basically did all this stuff right at the beginning. Um, so bear with me um, and hopefully I can walk you through exactly what I did. So before we begin with that, just one thing to kind of point out, I'm trying to record a recording of a recording and walk you through that process. That's great, except I can't use Screencast-O-Matic to record me teaching you about Screencast-O-Matic. So I've tried to use a different video capturing software and it's worked really well, except that it's deleted this thing right here, sorry, right here, and that is the editing menu. You'll notice on that editing menu, there are options for cutting, copying, hiding, inserting, narrating, overlaying, replacing, speeding up or transitioning, and there's one more that's covered up there by a graphic. That will come up anytime you actually click on the timeline at the bottom, which you'll hear about in my narration overview. I just wanted you to see that because I'll reference it in the narration, but because again of the software I used to make the video to put into Screencast-O-Matic, it didn't record that thing popping up for whatever reason. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what you'll get right after you've made a recording. So if you've actually filmed it, you're going to see basically this recordings overview on your desktop. Up at the top right, you could click record and start a new video, or you could import a video also in the top right. On the left, what I'm circling right there is if you just want to click on one of your older videos, which is the one I'm you just literally are watching right now, I'm going to click on that and edit it. Now, what you're not seeing, as I mentioned before, is... In the bottom right, it should say play, um, upload to YouTube, or save to your desktop, or edit. And you want to click on edit, which I'm doing right now, you just can't see it. Once I click on edit, you're going to see that the whole kind of desktop here changes, and there it is. So this is the editing kind of area. And it shows you your size, the canvas, um, which is how big your video is. It shows your narration volume there. And when you click on those things, different pop-up menus come up. It also shows um, that you can click on your cursor. I wasn't using one at the beginning of this video, so it doesn't come up. Or your webcam. Um, and then you can add captions, things like that. I don't need to adjust any of those. So then what I can look down is at this bottom, I have the entire video along with the audio. And so I'm going to want to play that and get a sense of what's going on. Here I can pause it. And when you pause it, it's actually going to give you this list of options. And I've just clicked on one that says insert or overlay an image. So I'm choosing that image to overlay. And I've chosen this screencast-o-matic image. So again, you're going to click on the timeline at the bottom, click on the option for overlay, and then click on an image. And that's going to be the same for video too. You can do an image, 
uh, excuse me, an overlay of a video and put that anywhere. And obviously you could see there that you can adjust it, you can increase it, you can decrease it. And notice at the bottom on the timeline, it now gives you this little scroller area. So you can have that image last for longer or shorter or whatever you might want there. And so that's super helpful when you're wanting to put in a picture that helps to illustrate something you're saying. This would be really, really helpful, I would assume, for things like um, giving your weekly overview of the class. Or again, if you're doing something where you need to explain a moment in a lab or something where you need to show and kind of be on camera, very much like what you'd be in the classroom. The other things I'm doing here, of course, is I'm just fiddling with the different adjustment opportunities. And again, because this Microsoft screen capturing software wasn't showing everything that's happening in Screencast-O-Matic, you're not seeing all of those little menus. But trust me, they're very self-explanatory and they're fun just to kind of try out and see what they do. But the basic rundown is um, you can have your video going, and then when you want to insert an image or a video, you pause it, you click on the plus, and then you choose if you want to do an overlay, if you want to record a new video, whatever else you might want to do. So that's it. I mean, that's ultimately how you make a video showing your desktop or showing you and then adding some kind of extra content in there to help especially announce things, give further information, um, just kind of make it a little bit more engaging. At the end, you're gonna wanna finish it up, you know, finalize whatever you wanna finalize. And then as you can kind of see here, it's dark in my background, but um, I can then upload it to YouTube from here. Again, imperfect overview here because that whole Microsoft recording software didn't work really well to show you exactly how this works. Um, of course, reach out to me if you have questions specifically about how it works. I really recommend Googling things, but this one I found works really, really well. And I'm thinking for days when we're asked to um, give overviews, this would be a really, really good tool here.